So the minor signs in this world come to people while they are in ghafla. And these are one of the minor signs. That people begin to drift off. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said people will begin to busy themselves with story, um, uh, imaginative stories and imaginative, imaginative tales. And they begin to make up imaginative tales to the point where people will begin to question if there is an existence of a God. That's a hadith. What does this mean? Really, look at our state today. A lot of people, I mean, the movie industry is growing huge. Now people are burning CDs and movies and there are more and more. I mean, don't ask the Muslims, ask non-Muslim experts who talk about the lifestyle of people these days. Look at it. People are more inside of home than outside. Children are more on the television than outside getting physical. Ask your parents how physical they used to be outside and now it's more indoors in front of that TV. LCD screens are getting bigger and bigger. Plasma TVs, you can see it. People are focusing on the quality of what they want to see and hear. You go out to the store and you don't know what to buy. You think I'm going to spend $300 on a TV and you end up spending $4,000. Why? Because this TV has a slightly better picture than this TV. Or this TV has got a slightly higher resolution than this TV. What I'm trying to say is that one of the minor signs of the last hour is that this world of entertainment, this illusion that we want to live in, has become a priority in a lot of people's lives. Really. Am I wrong? So inside this, this world of illusion. And the TV has become the world of illusion. And then they want all the nice stereo system around them. The ones, the little tweeters that get and the ones that bring out the other noises that go as if you're living in there. They want to live outside of the realm of this world. They want to get out of this world. It's true. And they want to live outside of this world. They don't want to live in it. It's another form of intoxication, if you like, but on a smaller scale. Now, if you can monitor it and manage it, it's okay, inshallah. I'm not telling you to be a, one of those Muslims who um, don't think I'm weird now, but I'm telling you that use it in a halal way, but try and don't be extravagant. And I just want you to realize that it can really get people addicted to all these things. They're running away from this world. And we are getting into that hope of illusions. And when you watch these people, these people who are watching all these movies and everything, movies are now dictating what people think and believe. I mean, I've heard young people say to me, this is a new form of counseling, which I have to know. I've never counseled this way before, Wallahi. And it's only in the past year. Students and young people telling me, what if there is another world? What if there is another reality. What if? What if? They don't know what they're talking about, but these imaginations, especially in movies, have made people think about other things that could possibly, and they said they make up their imagination. And so long as they know that other people are thinking like them, they think, yeah, there's a possibility. It's nice to think like that. It's nice to think that when we die, we become ghosts and we just roam around the world. It's nice. You know, we're just a ghost and then you walk towards the end of the, the tunnel, there's a light there and, and, parrot, and there's heaven on the clouds and all those things and, um, I don't know, Lord of the Rings and the Sixth Sense and uh, the world of the zombies. The other day this person, I said to him, look, we're human beings and we exist. And then he goes to me, hold on, how do you know we actually exist? How do you know we exist? And he comes up with these theories. I know this steak doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. This is information. The information is we could possi possibly be living right now, us, in a matrix. Yeah. Just like Neo in the matrix. Yeah. This key piece of I guess info was presented by Bank of America to their investors. To their investors, of all people. Wow. This uh, few years back, they put on the news of this man who said he's a prophet. He made uh, poor, miserable youth lives gone. They committed suicide, waiting for aliens to come and take them. <laughs> or they're waiting for aliens. They go, you have to suicide. You have to wait in this room. They got their luggage ready. Remember that one? And the aliens are going to come and take them. <laughs> Where are they going to take them? I don't know. 
So these are the minor signs. And now, even some, a lot of people are questioning whether there really is a God.